Using the distance formula in proving geometric properties, let's have an example. Say, prove that the diagonals of a rectangle are congruent using the methods of coordinate geometry. As one of the properties of a rectangle, sabi niya, the diagonals of a rectangle are uh, congruent. Pero, try natin siyang i-prove gamit yung coordinate geometry or the methods of coordinate geometry. Say, we have rectangle ABCD. Ano bang ibig sabihin ng, ng diagonal? A diagonal is a segment joining two non-consecutive vertices of a given polygon. So, kung meron kang point D dito, if this is point D, nasan dyan yung tinatawag nating non-consecutive vertex niya? Yung hindi niya kasunod. Okay? Si point A kasunod niya, si point C kasunod niya. So, si point B hindi niya kasunod. So, if we will join uh, point D to point B using a segment, yan, this segment is called the diagonal. Okay? Ilang diagonals meron ng rectangle? Dalawa. And we will be proving that these two diagonals are congruent using the methods of coordinate geometry. So, to prove uh, geometric properties using the methods of coordinate geometry, consider the following guidelines for placing figures on a coordinate plane. So, the first one, use the origin, origin or origin as vertex or center of a figure. And then, place at least one side of a polygon on an axis. If possible, keep the figure within the first quadrant. And use coordinates that make computations simple and easy. Sometimes, using coordinates that are multiples of two would make the computation easier. So, let's have an example. Place, the rectang uh, place rectangle ABCD on a coordinate plane. So, andyan na siya. Nasundan ba natin yung guideline natin? Yung una, nasabi nung una. Yung una, use the origin as vertex or center of the figure. So, ayan. Yung figure natin, located siya dito. So, origin natin, which is located at zero, uh, located at the coordinate zero and zero. Okay? Next, second, sabi niya, uh, make sure to place uh, at least one side in sabi niya, place one at least one side one side of a polygon on an axis okay satin rectangle so nilagay na lang natin siya yung dalawang sides niya nasa x ay yung isang side niya nasa x yung isang side niya nasa y so yun yung second now next yung susunod diyan uh, if possible keep, keep the figure within the first quadrant Nasa first quadrant ba yung figure natin? Tama, nasa first quadrant siya. So, this is quadrant 1. Yun yung quadrant 2. And then, 3 and 4 and so on. Okay. Next. Next naman, use coordinates that make computation simple and easy. Yun yung second natin. Label the coordinates as shown below. So, yun. So, point A is located at the origin. So, this is 0 and 0. The coordinates are 0 and 0. And from point A to point B, this location here is B. So, this is, your, this is now the Y coordinate of point B. And then, since nagmula siya sa ating, uh, nag-start siya sa ating origin, ang X coordinate niya ay 0. Okay, next. So, yung distance mula dito kay point A hanggang kay point D dito ay A. Ayan yun. A. So, eto A. Okay? And then, since nag-start siya dyan, nasa x-axis siya, so, ibig sabihin ng y uh, coordinate niya ay 0. So, point D is located at the coordinates A and 0. Next, pa, paano naman yung point C? Say, what if hindi mo alam na A, B yan? Si point C, lagyan mo lang... Uh, uh, observe mo lang yung ginawa mong mga uh, coordinates. So, mula, mula dito, kung ito yung point C, ayan, ano yung, dista, ano, ano yung dito niya, ano yung kanyang x-coordinate ng linyang ito, ng side na ito, that is A. Tama? So, x niya ay A. Next, ang distansya mula dito hanggang doon. Ilan? Mula dito hanggang doon. So, that is B. Okay? Now, next, find the distance between A and C. A and C. So, A is located at the coordinates. 
Ano ang A natin? Ito. 0 and 0. While B is located at the coordinate. Uh, should I say C? While C is located at the coordinates A and B. Now, let's find the distance between A and C. So, the distance between A and C is equal to x sub 2 minus x sub 1 quantity square plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 quantity square. And then after that, substitute ka lang. Substitute lang yung values. Parang yung activity 5 nyo kanina. So, x sub 2. Yan, yung C, x sub 2. Ang x sub 2 ni point C is A. Minus, ayusin ko lang. Back natin. So, minus, ang first uh, x center, uh, ang first x coordinate naman ng point A is 0. Quantity square plus, second, uh, second y coordinate, ito, which is B, minus, First y coordinate naman natin, ito, which is 0. Okay? A minus 0 is A, so A square, plus B minus 0 is B, so B square. So the distance between uh, A and C is A square root of A square plus B square. Next, find the distance between B and D. B is located at the coordinates 0 and B while this located at the coordinates A and 0. So, same process. The distance is equal to the square root of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 quantity square plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 quantity square. Next, x sub 2 yung pangalawa mong x. Sabi niya. So, yung pangalawa mong x. <laughs> A Minus, yung una mong x, 0, quantity square, plus, yung pangalawa mong, pangalawa mong y, which is 0, minus yung una mong y, which is b, quantity square. So, the square root of a minus 0 is a square, plus 0 minus b is negative b, quantity square, negative b, times negative b is positive b square. So, a square plus b square. So, anong napansin nyo sa distance ng dalawa? So, yung distance nilang dalawa ay ano? Equal. Congruent. Tama? So, therefore, AC is congruent to BD. Therefore, the diagonals now of a rectangle are congruent. So, ganun yung ating proving.